worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If it was for self, then we wouldn't be here tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are Alpha. Let's worship. And Omega. nothing. Hallelujah. And it, at this time, I'm going to be asking Evangelist Brown, our youth president, to pray God's blessing on tonight's service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus, everybody. Can we worship the Lord, everybody? Praise the name of Jesus. We are about to approach the throne of grace tonight. Let's bow our heads in reverence to the living God. Heavenly Father, we worship you tonight because you are Lord, because you are worthy to be praised. And Lord God, before you, we are as grasshoppers. With, with before you, Lord God Almighty, we are but weak. But Lord God, we look to you tonight for strength. And as we begin this service tonight, Lord God, we're inviting your divine presence to tabernacle with us tonight. Heavenly Father, we believe that where your spirit is, there is liberty. Praise the name of Jesus. And so, Lord God Almighty, let no flesh glory in your presence tonight. Heavenly Father, let no problem that comes into this house, let no problem abide before you tonight. You are great enough, God, to solve all problems. Lord God, you're great enough to meet every single need. And so, God, we come tonight putting everything aside because we have come to give you glory. We have come to give you worship. God, you have sent your word of victory to this house already. And so, Heavenly Father, we just lay ourselves before you right now as we do what we must by lifting our hands, by lifting our hearts, by opening our mouth, God, to give you praise in this house as we secure the victories. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let only praises, oh God, come from our lips tonight, Jesus. 
Hallelujah to the living God. Hallelujah, we worship you. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For thine, O oh God, is the kingdom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thine is the glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We come in the persons who will stand in this podium tonight. We commit everyone into your hands, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we commit your servant, Apostle Johnson, in your hands tonight, Jesus. We ask you, Lord God, to strengthen him. Heavenly Father, whenever you bring him into this house, God, you put a, an, an extra layer, God, of provision and anointing in our midst. And we want to thank you tonight, Jesus. Lord God, all our leaders, God Almighty, who are on this battlefield, who are leading this charge, Heavenly Father, we commit them into your hands tonight, Jesus. We ask you, God, to strengthen them, God, in heart, to strengthen them in mind, to strengthen them, O oh God, with might in the inner man tonight, Jesus. Jesus, the weapons of our warfare, God, they're not carnal, God, but mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds. And so, God Almighty, fortify every member here tonight. Fortify us, the God, in spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. Let everything, God, that is going to be done, everything that's going to be said, Lord God, be so done, God, to the glory and the honor of your name. Praise the name of Jesus. We tell you thanks for hearing us tonight. We tell you thanks for leading us tonight. We tell you thanks for speaking to us tonight. We tell you thanks God for anointing the speaker tonight. We tell you thanks God for the souls who will come into the house tonight. For those God who will be birthed in our midst tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. To you God be your glory. All honor in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 let's lift our hands in the sanctuary and praise the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 let's worship as if we are a winner, hallelujah, we are winners and we're going to worship like winners tonight as we turn our back hymnals to him. Praise God, praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Hymn 130. I have found his grace. It's all complete. He supplied every need. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I have found his grace. His grace is all complete. He supplied every need while I sit and learn at Jesus' feet. I am free, yes, free indeed. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Glory the half has never yet been told. I have found the pleasure I once prayed. It is joy and peace within. What a wondrous blessing I am saved from the awful gulf of sin. It is joy.
Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah! The half has never yet been told. Hallelujah! 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 We are in an apostolic church. Hallelujah! Let us magnify God. Hallelujah! He's worthy, he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah! From the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Hallelujah! 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 Let's praise the Lord. Let's magnify him. He is great and he is greatly to be praised. At this time, I'm going to be asking Sister Cassandra Duncan to read the night's lesson for us. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Tonight's lesson is taken from Romans chapter 8, reading from verse 28 to 39. Please stand, everyone. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be, be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not then with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justified. Who, may, who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather that is risen again. Who is given, sits, who even is sitting at the right hand of God? Who also make intercession, intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things we are more than conqueror to track through him that loved us. For I am persuaded Hallelujah. that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present or things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody, praise the Lord.
Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I will sing and shout when I get there. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord when I get there. Hallelujah! 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 My pleasure at this time, handing over to Elder Delroy Williams. Come on, let the worshipers worship right now. Triumphant people worship. Worship triumphant people. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God. Shout unto God. Where are the shouters in the house? Shout unto God with the voices of triumph. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now thanks be unto God, which has caused us to triumph in Christ. Hallelujah, in everything. Come on, somebody. Triumphant people, just give God a praise. Hallelujah. Tell somebody beside you, we win. Tell somebody else beside you, we win. Are the winners in the house? Tell somebody. Just turn around to somebody and tell him, we win. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, we need some victorious people in this house. To know that we have already won. The struggles are on, but we have already won. Hallelujah. So we're going to fight on. We're going to fight on. We're going to fight on. Never run or ever look behind. If you live for God on the right, let's worship you tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands in this house. And before you sit, just tell somebody we win already. Tell somebody as we win already. Amen. 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 Be seated in the house. Hallelujah. God is good. Anybody want to tell somebody beside you, God is good? All the time. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be back in the house of the Lord tonight. The psalmist says to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion 
in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me and he shall set me up upon a rock come on somebody you're a winner praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord it's good to be in youth week 2024 the theme fight on knowing you have already won i wish we have the attitude of a winner this knowledge is high last night we were told that he has caused us to triumph every time glory be to God everywhere everywhere we are triumphant oh I wish that God's people will understand this and give God a high praise and give God a high praise give God a high praise hallelujah I wish you would stand up and give God a high praise three times and sit back down before you sit back just just think about it just think about where you are right now you're in the presence of God now think back at the many dangers the many issues the many things that came at you I reminded on Sunday that it, when the enemy comes in like a flood the Spirit of the Lord lifted up a standard against him somebody will know that you know that you know if it had not been the Lord who was on your side it would have been a different story tonight I wish we chorus a, a high praise in the house I wish we chorus a high praise in the house hallelujah 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 and you may be seated you may be seated I just want to acknowledge all those who are with us at this time acknowledge Bishop Rankin Clark our senior Bishop Bishop Johnson praise the Lord praise the Lord we have Bishop Coates and uh, the team Pastor Andrew and Coates and the team from Visioneers who are here just stand and give us that that praise you know, you know that praise uh, you, you want the microphone Glory Glory Oh glory One more time Glory Glory, everybody. Glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's, that's signature. Uh, there's no copyright on that note. You can't come to a copyright on that one. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It's good to, to have them coming from Montego Bay to be here with us. To be here with us. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Uh, we have Pastor Jackson from Keith always uh, with us. Any brethren with her? Any brethren with her? Come on, Keith. Do that again. Do that again. Now, can I just share something with you? That lady is a young lady she is youthful when she danced you think that she is 16 she looked like 16 praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord i just love her worship and her presence in the house means a lot to us thank you pastor jackson for coming to support the youth at this time i see sister Dar, and down the bottom just stand and praise the Lord come on give us a loud shout again come on good to have you 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 Deacon Rose 
Oh, Deacon Rose, right. Deacon, just give, just give us a give, stand and give a praise. Do it again. You see Evangelist Dawes. Do it again. Good to have you. Good to have you. Good to have you. We got Sister Beverly Bailey in the house. Can you just stand and praise the Lord? Do it again. It's good to see you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Where's Napdale? Napdale, stand with your pastor. He's here tonight. Napdale, stand and give God a praise. Napdale, give God a praise. I see the worship center, uh, the Apostolic Ark Worship Center. Where are you? Just give God a praise. Where is Madras? Madras, stand up and give God a praise. Come on, Madras, give God another praise. We have uh, with us retreat. Retreat, where are you? Come on, give a retreat praise. Give God a retreat praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We've got Middle Boxton with Pastor Williams. Uh, where are you, Middle Boxton? Let's do that again. One, two. Do that again. One, two. Who am I missing out? Beverly is here. Beverly is here. Elder Gallimore and the team stand up and praise the Lord. Do it again. Do it again. All right, Brownstone. Everybody in Brownstone just, oh, nah. Lily Field is here. Lily Field is here. Lily Field is here again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brownstone, just stand up and praise the Lord where you are. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, where is Claremont? Is Claremont in the house? Claremont is here. At least the bishop is here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands, everybody. And give God a high praise. And uh, just acknowledging that evangelist Carrie the Clark has been going with her father. So we just want to acknowledge you. You've not been here. It's good to stand up and praise the Lord. Good to good, good. Hallelujah. And, 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 and Sister Sean, I think, uh, would go also. Yes. All right. So you must stand up, man. All right. All right. We're good to be here. Good to be here in the house of God tonight. I, I think I want to hear the, the, the choir evangelist, Johnson. We're going to hear the choir right now. Praise the Lord. We're going to hear the choir right now. Hallelujah. As we worship. Police officers here. Minister Barnett from Glorious Light. Rake us up last night. Give us a high praise. Send, send up and praise the Lord. But Glorious Light, anybody else with you? Only you alone. Give God a high praise. Give God another high praise. All right, one more, you walk up here. One more, you always walk up here at the same time. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Apostolic Ark Masqua at this time. Thank you. 
Give God a high praise. Give God a praise. I don't have to worry. Because I'm a winner. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's a song in my heart and I, I asked Bishop just to lead it off. It says, I know he loves it. It says, hold the fourth. Fourth, for I am coming. Anybody want to stand and we're going to sing the song right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Singers, help me. Amen. Hold the fort, for I am coming. Jesus. Signal still. Hallelujah. Hold the fort, for I am coming. Jesus, signal. Jesus, signal still. With the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will.
signal, Jesus signal still. Where the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. Oh, oh, oh the fight, for I am coming. Jesus signal, Jesus signal still. Acknowledging those Hallelujah. who are online all over the world. Thank you, Jesus. Listening Hallelujah. right now and watching this service. You're in Youth Week 2024. And I said earlier on, our theme this week will fight on knowing you have already won. Amen. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm going to invite all of us to stand and I'm going to invite Bishop Lyndon Johnson to come. Dad not here, but he's, 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 he's on, he's looking. We're happy that he's here. I'm going to ask him now to... 
God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Go ahead and make a joyful noise unto the Lord in the house. Go ahead and make a joyful noise unto the Lord in the house. I know you have a better praise. Go ahead and praise God in the house. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God bless you. God bless you. You may take your liberties in the house. God bless you. I'd like to quickly greet you on behalf of a pastor and presiding bishop, Dr. G.W. Johnson, who is not here tonight. Um, he's just home. I um, have to attend to some compulsory matters on tomorrow. So, yeah, just wisdom prevail. He's not in the house tonight, but he sends his greetings along with Pastor Gloria Johnson. And we give God thanks that you're here with us tonight. So, all our brethren that are worshiping with us online, who have made this place your home online we give god thanks for you and all the brethren that chose to come out of their comfort zone and they're joining us face to face here in the house of god tonight we give god thanks for you we give god thanks for you uh the protocols i asked my moderator to allow me to use the protocols in the essence of time not to call all the names tonight but we give god thanks that these this battery this uh, uh, uh this lovely group of ministers are here joining us tonight to um continue the fight hallelujah continue uh, we heard last night in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, we have the victory because he has caused us to triumph in every place. So I say to somebody tonight, the fact that you, you know your situation and you left your bed, you left your space and you got up in here is reason enough to know that you are here to worship god hallelujah 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 god is a good god hallelujah i wanted to hold your neighbor's hand right now and just tell the neighbor as i take my seat god has caused you to triumph in every place that's why you're here tonight oh tell the neighbor just preach to your neighbor God has caused you. God has caused you. Hallelujah. God has caused you. I want to just jump to your feet uh, and embarrass the enemy with your praise right now. Uh, just jump to your feet. Uh, you shouldn't be in this house. Uh, you shouldn't be praising God. Uh, you should be dead and God. Uh, but I'm in the house on tonight. Uh, giving God a praise. Uh, hallelujah. God has caused me uh, to triumph in every place. God bless you. In Jesus Hallelujah. Name. Somebody just stand, stand up. Stand up and tell. Say, what a God. What a God. Just, say, just, say, just look at a person and say, what a God, what a God, what a God. What a God. Oh Lord, we're going to sing the song right now. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, Let can me I tell you about the, the power of this God? God. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, can I tell you about the power of this God? He healed the sick. He raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. I tell you about the power of this God. He healed the sick, he raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Put your hands together. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, can I tell you about the power of this God? Oh, he healed the sick, he raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God, oh, what a God, what a God, what a God, oh, can I tell you about the power of this God, oh, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, what a God, what a God, what a God, oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One person with that side, just get up and testify something quickly. Do a quick testimony. Just one person with that. Just quick, quick, quick. Hallelujah. In here, one person is in the row. Stand up and give God a, a, a testimony. If you if you if you don't you don't run, you're coming. I'm gone. Hallelujah. Right in this row. Uh huh. Hallelujah. Somebody on this side. Somebody up here. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody worship. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody from Visioneers. Uh, stand up and word. I pray. I give God a, a testimony. Quick. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Somebody from Keith, stand up and pray and testify again. Somebody from Keith. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. God is good. God is good. Not true. God is good. Not true. Tell somebody, God good. God good. God good morning. God yeah. good. Hallelujah. 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 We're happy to have Pastor Jackson with us. A young lady at heart. I'm going to ask her just to come and testify. Whoa. I hope she dance tonight. Glory be to God. Yeah, what a God, what a God, what a God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, I'm just happy to be in the house of God tonight. I, I don't like too much of the hallelujah. However, I'm giving God thanks for saving grace. I said I'm giving God thanks for saving grace. And I'm happy to be in the apostolic ark one more time to lift up the name of Jesus. Praise God. Let me greet uh, Apostle Johnson, Pastor Gloria Johnson, in their absent, hallelujah, our senior, praise God, Bishop, Bishop Clark, Bishop Johnson, and all God's wonderful ambassador. God greet your choir, everyone, I just want to greet you all in Jesus' name, hallelujah. I know where God has brought me from. I've been through it, through many danger. But tonight, thank God. Thank God, I am still here. And my testimony is, through many danger, toil, and snare, I have already he come, hallelujah, to us grace that brought he said, glory thus far, and grace, and grace believe me, oh, too many any day church talk hello mama shut up I have I have 
Feel salvation and, and deliverance. We've got Bishop Marvin Tracy. Just good to have you, sir. Just good to have you. Good to have you. Good to have you. And from we have Bishop Black yes, from Essex Castle. No, Douglas Castle. Sorry. Just stand, sir, and just praise the Lord. Good to have you. Good to have you. Good to have you with us. Uh, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. I'm going to be asking. Uh, Pastor Dr. Andrine Clark Coates. She just had her birthday recently. Yesterday. Just come, birthday lady, and just greet. Can we shout a praise unto the Lord, everybody? Surely the presence of the Lord is in this house. It is so good to be home. Greetings to. Apostle and Lady Johnson in their absence. Praise the Lord. They're watching online and we honor God for them. Can we put our hands together for the father and the mother of Pentecost in the island of Jamaica and to Bishop Lyndon Johnson, to my parents, Bishop Clark and Missionary Clark, to Elder Wayne Brown. So good to see you. Bishop Tracy and to all the Rastrum Associates, to all God's wonderful people, choir musicians. It's just good to be here. God will not allow the enemy to triumph over you. He will not allow the enemy to laugh over you. You are a victor. We have already overcome because Jesus is the winner man and we are on the winning side. God bless you in Jesus' name. Winners give God a praise. Winners give God a praise. Winners give God a praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm going to be asking Bishop Coates just to greet us at this time. Yeah, no, no, she, she gave, she's a birthday lady. Clap your hands unto the Lord, everybody. Somebody shout victory. Somebody shout victory in this room. Hallelujah, God be praised. I honor the Lord, Jesus Christ, who is the superintendent and the bishop of my life. I'm grateful that it's in him I live and move and have my being. What a joy it is to be here this evening in the presence of Almighty God with all God's wonderful people. Let me take the time out to greet Apostle Johnson and his beautiful wife who are online and to Bishop Lyndon Johnson and the House of Johnsons. Amen to Senior Bishop, Bishop Rankin Clark, my father-in-law. Amen. I, I have to make sure I do due diligence. Amen. God bless him. Amen. And to Apostle uh, Marvin Tracy, Bishop Black, to my big brother, Bishop Brown, Elder Brown, and my beautiful mother-in-law. 
missionary Norma Clark looking good as always and my sister-in-laws and other relatives are in the congregation to just about everyone the beautiful choir to all the leaders on the farm God bless you amen we are here to have a good time amen we have already got the victory we are on the winning side when Jesus rose from the dead he got up and he said all power not some power but all power is given unto me both in heaven and in earth we are on the winning side god bless you in jesus name winners give god a praise amen 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 bishop black could you just come and greet us please thanks praise the lord bless the name of jesus bless the name of jesus Bless the name of Jesus. We, may we declare that there's no name like the name, the name of Jesus. Of all the names in the world, I think we have close to nine uh, billion people on the globe. And still, with all those names, there's no name like the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody think about it tonight. Hallelujah! There is no name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved. Let me honor the Spirit of God to be uh, Apostle Johnson and his wife, to the God's generals of bishops, amen, to all the ministering servants of God, children of the Most High, I honor you this evening in saluting you in the most exalted name, the name of Jesus. You know, I heard Bishop Tracy preach a sermon once, and the title of it is that the fight is fixed. I never forget it. Tonight, it doesn't matter how weak you are. Oh, hallelujah. The fight is fixed. Oh, hallelujah. You don't have to worry about winning. Just keep fighting. Oh, hallelujah. Just keep on fighting. Hallelujah. Keep fighting. The fight is fixed. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on. Give your hand. Give, give God a hand clap, man. Give God a hand clap. The referee knows who the winners are. The fight is fixed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's a song, Mighty Long Way, Lord mighty long way look where you've brought me from a mighty long way mighty long way lord mighty long way mighty long way lord mighty long way mighty long way lord. Oh, mighty long way, everybody stand in the house everybody stand mighty long way put your hands together look where you brought me from Oh, look where you brought me from, a mighty long 
to have Bishop Tracy with us and we can't have all oh, glory be to God I feel God in this house That song brought back some memories for some persons right now. Been through the fire. Been through the flood. Shandala Lamasa. Shaka Mama Mamasa. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh glory. Shandalama. Shaka Mama Masa. Look where you brought me from A mighty long way Look where you brought me from A mighty long way Hallelujah. Was just pulled back to some experiences. Somebody was pulled back to some experiences that you know if it, was, it was, if it wasn't for God, you would be sitting or standing in here tonight. Look where you brought me from, a mighty long way. There's a winner here. 
that need to burst out in joy. You should have been dead. There's a winner here who should have been messed up. There's a winner here who should have been mad. But look where you brought me from. A mighty long way. You're crazy if you hold back that, that praise. You're crazy if you hold back that praise. <laughs> You can sit to sit. Look away. Look away. Look away. It's it's good to have Bishop. Tracy in the house. Bishop, oh glory be to God. Just come, could, could, could you just come? I, I, I. God bless you. God bless you indeed. It's a wonderful privilege to have him with us tonight. Just recently, he came and he spent some time with dad, he and Elder Jolly Tracy. Pastors poured into a lot of persons and it really touched our heart when he took the time out to come to sit with dad and to just brace us in a time when he was very sick and God brought him through another time. God bless you, Bishop. We're very happy to have you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Let the church say glory. Another time, glory. glory. If you know you are victorious, say glory. glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's just wonderful to be here tonight. Amen. Let me greet our father and apostle and his wife who is not here tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. We know that if there was any way it was possible for him to be here, he would be here. Hallelujah. Amen to Bishop Lyndon Johnston and to the House of Johnsons. Hallelujah. Amen to Bishop Clark, Bishop Quartz, to Dr. Brown, amen, all the other pastors and bishops, to the wonderful choir and Amen. The mothers and fathers of Zion. To you, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. It's good to be here in your youth convocation one more time. Hallelujah. Uh, we borrow testimonies from many people and from some of our great writers and our patriarchs. And amen. And we love to borrow David. Amen. I think I can borrow Bishop Clark tonight. Everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. I'm going to have to say it like him because when you're borrowing something, you can't be like the original. Hallelujah. Can you praise the Lord? <laughs> but it's just good to be in the presence of you, my brethren, and the presence of the Lord. We sang early on, we're coming from a mighty long way. It reminds me of the journey that we have been traveling for so many long time. Uh, Bishop Clark, you, you remember that box guitar? Oh, hallelujah. We used to sing all over Jamaica. 
Oh my God, hallelujah. I have a, uh, an accordion and, and, and Bishop Clark have the, the box guitar. You, you don't know those times. Amen. We bless the hearts of Pentecostal folks all over the island. From oh my God, from Kingston to Sablamar. Hallelujah. My God. I remember when uh, Bishop Apostle Johnson was Evangelist Johnson. And when he get up to sing, and amen, Bishop Clark get up with that box guitar, and I with that accordion, my God, we set this place on fire. Hallelujah! Oh my God, my God, amen. This generation don't know that, amen. You don't, we coming from a mighty long way. Amen. Minister Williams, you were, you, you were not on the scene as yet. You were still in the mind of God. Not even in your mother's womb. Hallelujah! Glory to God. We coming from a mighty long way. And we ain't tired yet. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, uh, Apostle Johnson wasn't preaching then. He was just singing. Oh, God of mercy. And when he, when he sung those songs, amen. And my God, the church is on fire. We didn't have electric guitars like you have and, and keyboard. We, 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 we just have a box guitar and a little accordion. Oh, mama. And a mouth and some tambourine. Hallelujah. My God. And, and later on, amen, Pastor White, amen, late Pastor White would have his bamboo and he cut it and he shake it. My God. Oh God, we, we, we used to have good times. Oh, we're coming from a mighty, mighty long way. Hallelujah! Amen. And we're still reporting victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! It's good to be here. Amen. Um, we, you know, we, we, we're going through a time when we need to believe God. It's a time of deception and we need to know God for ourselves. Or oh, can you praise the Lord? Or oh, can you praise the Lord? Uh, too many of this generation don't really know God for yourself. You, you got to know God for yourself. Otherwise, you might just be deceived and don't know that you are deceived. Hallelujah. But tonight I'm rejoicing. I can repeat, Paul, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places hallelujah oh my god who have chosen us oh god we have the victory before the foundation of the world to be holy amen before him god bless you as we ride on with king jesus as the word is uh, coming amen let us let the word settle within our heart for it's only the word that is going to keep us in this troubled time. God bless you. God bless you, Melissa Williams. God bless you. God bless you. Love you. Hallelujah. 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 Let's go way back. Way back in God. Let's go way back. Way back in God. Let's go way back. Let's go way back, way back in God. People don't clap like they used to clap. Way back, way back. People don't clap like they used to clap. Way back in God. Let's go way back, way back in God. Let's go way back. Way back in God Oh, people don't sing like they used to sing Way back, way back People don't sing like they used to sing Way back in God Oh, let's go way back Way back in God Let's go way back Way back in God Let's go way back Way back in God, let's go way back. Way back in God, oh, let's go way back. Way back in God, let's go way back. Way back in God. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. It's offering time. It's offering time. It's offering time. It's part of worship. Clap your hands. It's offering time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And uh, I'm going to be asking two of our ladies to do it tonight. And uh, I'm going to ask you to give generously to these ladies. In Dr. Andrew Coates and Evangelist Shireen Morgan Williams. They're going to be collecting the nice offering tonight. Two pastors' wives. Yeah. Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everybody. We're at a very important part of the service. The word is about to come, but we have to ensure that the finances are taken care of. You know that we need money makes the mayor go. And as a result, we're here tonight. We're tasked with collecting what you have. And can we ask of you, give bountifully, give generously. When you do that, God will pour into you and you'll find that bills and your worries and your cares, whatever you were thinking that you needed to probably go and ask for, God will just turn things around for you. Can, I, can we ask you to trust God tonight? Can we ask you to give him a try tonight? So don't go in and just pick up stingily, but see how best you can give off your substance tonight. Pastor Coates. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. We're asking you to come. Come. Just come. You know that when you give unto the Lord, he's going to give back to you. Right. Press down, shaken together, and running over. So come on up. Come on up. Just come down with it. Come on. It's a part of worship. Amen? Praise the Lord. I don't see you coming. I don't see you coming. Come on. Or else we're going to come and get it from you. Give and it will come back to you. Give and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shaken together, and running over. Give and it will come back to you. When you give, give to the Lord. Give and it will come back to you. Good measure. Press down, shaking together and running over. Give and it will come back to you. When you give, give to the Lord. Give and it will come back to you. Good measure. Press down, shaking together and running over. Give and it will come back to you. When you give, give to the Lord. Oh, give, and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together, and running over. Give, and it will come back to you. When you give, give to the Lord. Give, and it will come back to you. Press down, shake it together, and running over. Give, and it will come back to you. When you give, you give to the Lord. Oh, give, and it will come back to you. If you are looking again, probably you're thinking twice. You left something and you want to come back with it. Feel free, come. And it will come back to you. Can we ask the ushers when probably just give, to go through the aisles? We have individuals Lord. sometimes who really don't oh, want to walk give, and therefore want to ensure that we collect from you. them. So the ushers are coming it's around. Together, probably you have a little more somewhere. Over, give, and it will come back Thank to you, you, Jesus. When you give, give to the Lord. When you give, Give to the Lord. Oh, when you give, 
give to the Lord. When you give, give to the Lord. When you give, give to the Lord. Can we ask Mandis Gallimore? You'll be coming to bless the offering at this time. Could we stand everywhere? And you're going to trust God right now. You have stretched forth. And as the prayer go forth, you're going to believe God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your blessings upon us, upon your children. Oh, God, you have given unto us. We have given, un given back unto you, mighty God. We pray that you made us breathe upon it lord jesus christ we pray that you may stretch it lord god that it may meet the needs of this noble house mighty god we pray that those who have given lord that you may bless them lord bless them in their pocketbooks bless them in their cupboards oh god bless them in their health in the name of the lord jesus christ open doors for them hallelujah to god they may have given sacrificially lord jesus if they need a job right now i pray lord god that you will make it happen for them oh god then look unto you hallelujah honor your word tonight as we ask in jesus name amen amen, amen. just before you take your seats could you stand everywhere i want you just to lift your hand up just lift your hand up you're ready to receive and just say thank you jesus Come on, say it like you mean it. Say it like you mean it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Elder Williams. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. We know it's time for the word. Hallelujah. Lift your cups up for the word of God to receive something extraordinary. Tell somebody beside you, expect the extraordinary tonight. The Central District Mesquire. Come on, lift your hands and magnify the name of the Lord, everybody. He's awesome in this place tonight. Hallelujah. 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 the highest praise to God tonight.
Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. Unto the Lord. For the Lord our God. Yes, he's omnipotent. Hallelujah. Oh, he is. Come on, just say hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. To the Lord. time for the word some close to 20 years ago it pleases God to put on the heart of our apostle after seeking God calling a young man who God 
placed on his heart to speak to us as youth. He doesn't need much accolades on his name. He's not one who seems to enjoy flaunting of greatness. A humble man of God, one who I choose to call a brother. One who loves the Lord with all his heart. Without further ado, present to you and the World Wide Web, none other than Brother Minister Wayne Brown. God bless you. God bless you. In the name of the Lord. Somebody just worship the Lord. There. There's a spirit of militance in the house tonight. There's a war cry. Thank you, choir. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody prepared for war tonight? Sound the battle cry. See the foe is nigh. Raise a standard eye for the Lord. Guard your armor on God and everyone rest your cause upon his holy words hear this strong to meet the foe marching as you go wild or cause we know must prevail shield and the banner bright gleaming in the light battling for the right will never fail one more verse oh thou god of all hear us when we call help us one and all by thy grace when the battle's done and the victory's won. May we wear the crown before thy face. The chorus said, Rose and soldiers rally round the banner. Ready, steady, pass the word along. Onward, forward, sound the loud sound. For Christ is captain of the mighty throne. Come on, roll, rolls and soldiers round the banner. Ready, steady, he marked the word alone. On the old Christian soul, come on and face to face, eternal way with armor bleeding and other seamen. Yes, the right, the right, and wrong engage to The fight is on, but we not win. Strong and in his might hold fast. If God, if God be for us, his banner hold us. He'll win the victory song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if. If we're going to get the victory tonight, everybody's got to take up a war cry. Mm -hmm. Say it one more time. If we're going to get the victory tonight, everybody has got to take up a war cry. Uh, I, I heard the folks, heard the folks from Montego Bay, glory, oh glory. Uh, that's your war cry. The rest of us got a 
uh, hala. Uh, you know, hala. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Mm, war cry. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, come on, harmony. Come on, choir. Do that. Just do that, choir. Just do that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 all right, thank you. War cry on this side. Go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. come on, open your mouth like you're a soldier. Oh, oh, oh. come on, apostolics, we got to take back what the devil has stolen. Oh, oh, oh. hallelujah to God. Oh, 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 oh. You ready on this side? Let's try that. Oh, 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 oh. come on from the depths of your soul. Oh, 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 oh. come on, Montego Bay. I yeah. see you over there. Oh, 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 oh. Lord Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, elders and ministers and bishops. Oh, 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 oh. Now musicians don't say nothing. I want to hear the voices. Come on, it's a war cry. Everybody in the house. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. God bless you. Take your seat. Sit down. Let's just, we just we just getting we just getting started. Ba 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 shata ya Shendo 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 Ma shata ya Shima Shendo My God, my God, my God My God, my God Yes, 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 yes There's a star, there's a star There's, there's a star That's what, that's what the church needs A star Somebody, somebody shake yourself. Yeah. Ay, ay, shendo. Hallelujah. My son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Somebody, Hallelujah. somebody hold it, hold it. Hallelujah. We got to get back to Pentecost. Yeah. Hear me? Somebody who's got a a, a a a a a sound in your spirit. It's not it's not English. You can't understand it. Yeah. It's a sound where you just got to you just got to holler. You just got to cry. Somebody make that sound. It's in your belly. Make that sound. Ah! I don't hear everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. You're not making the sound. You're not making the sound. It's in your belly. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going. I'm going. God bless you. I'm going. I'm going to preach in a minute. Protocols are established. But can I tell you? We have to get back Pentecost in the church. Masha, ya ba 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 shi, she todo boho sanda. We're too quiet in the church. Masha ya ba ha I know you're waiting to hear preaching, but the Holy Ghost must have its preeminence in the church. Somebody just shout Holy Ghost one more time and sit down. Just shout Holy Ghost and sit down. Somebody shout, Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Shakata! Some of you haven't felt him in a long time. Shout, Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Yes, 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 yes. I see some people bespoiling themselves. Shaya Shanda! Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost power, right anyhow. Right anyhow, right anyhow, the Holy Ghost power, right anyhow, amen. Come on.
come on, we need to feel the church. Holy Ghost power. Somebody shout Holy Ghost Holy one more Ghost. time. Holy God bless Holy you. Ghost. Now, now, just put a, just put a, a, a pause on your weapon. Uh -huh. Don't, don't fasten back the belt. Just, just put a pause. Somebody give God praise in this house. There's a militant mood in the worship. God bless you. God bless you. To the only wise God, our Savior, we ascribe majesty, dominion, power. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Just hold that. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now I promise you, I promise you, we're not going to be long. We just need to fix some things. We just need to set some things and let it go. Sit down, sit down. Yes, yes, yes. There, keep that sound, keep that sound. Sit down, sit down. We're going to let you go. It's important. It's important. To the delegated apostle, one of our fathers of Pentecost, the honorable Bishop Doctor, G.W. Johnson to his ambrosia and the elect lady Pastor Glorious Johnson in their absence I, I must tell you, I must tell you I think it's the first time I've ever been to church and Bishop is not here now he was here last night, I'll tell you he was here but uh, I was speaking to somebody today and we, we're, we're, we're getting accustomed to and I paraphrase black there was a time when David went to war and the giants almost knocked him out and the men of Israel came to their senses and they said that we are going to have to make the king stay home so that the light of Israel don't go out and so we're, we're recognizing I mean the tremendous work that our bishop has done internationally in recognizing that but one of the and that's where I'm going tonight one of the weapons of our warfare we don't talk about that side of the weaponry but one of the weapons of our warfare is to rest oh you get that one of the weapons of our warfare is to rest yeah rest in the Lord. And so we want to greet every one of you to the household of faith one more time. It's just, it's just it's a privilege to, to be back in Brownstone. And, and I mean that. It's a privilege. It seems to, seems to be the bishop's night. I don't know. I'm surrounded with a, with a cadre of, of bishops and apostles, of course, certainly to my friend, my brother, my yoke fellow, confident, and I could go on, uh, Apostle Marvin Tracy, out of salvation and deliverance, it's just so good to see him, never have a bad day, even when it's a bad day, he's smiling, I just love that about Bishop, we're friends, and the Bible said if you want to make a friend, you got to show yourself friendly, can I tell you, just to tell you, a bottle of water brought us together. You, you wouldn't understand that. And then, of course, to, to, to Bishop Clark, who, who most of you don't know, to, to Bishop Rankin Clark, who is, who is a blood cousin. We're not begging no cousin now. This is biological. To Bishop Clark and to Lady Clark and to 
Uh, the rest of the clerks, certainly to an adoption, Bishop Coates, <laughs> and to the saints from Montego Bay, Bishop Black, good to see you. And then, of course, to, 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 the, to the young Joshua in the house, Bishop Lyndon Johnson, amen. And I, I said, God is preparing you for war. Mm -hmm. When Moses was off the scene, Joshua came around and we read it in the scriptures, but we don't understand it. It was not an easy time of transition. People had become so accustomed to Moses until uh, it would seem that nobody else could be Moses. But God chose Joshua. And to bring Joshua in, into focus, you know, you read the scripture, it's not as easy as it sounds. But to bring him into focus, Bishop Tracy, what the Lord did was to create war. Yes. Yes. And because Joshua was a military general, that's what the Lord used so that the people could submit themselves to Joshua. And the test of the Lord was that he saw a man with a drawn sword and he said, who are you? And the captain of the Lord's host. I don't know, there's, there's war, and I'll tell you what that war really means in the acronym. World Apostolic Revival. I, I believe God is raising you up, Bishop Lindon, and all those that are going to be with you to take the, nef the next level of apostolic, hear me, apostolic, apostolic revival, because the trumpet is almost ready to be sound. And so we greet every one of you again in the, in the precious name of Jesus. Lady pastors, I love you. Amen. Love all of you. And choir, God bless you. And musicians, God bless you in the name of the Lord. Two passages of scripture. And I, if you pray with me, we're, we're not going to be long. But we always endeavor to be strong. The Lord don't love anything. Thank you, thank you. You have to be strong. Second Samuel chapter 5. Second Samuel chapter 5. Reading from verse 22 to the end, verse 25. And then to, to be contextual, Second Corinthians chapter 10. And we're reading verse number three through to verse number five. Certainly, again, want to greet you on behalf of my pastor in New York City by way of Brooklyn, First United Church, 590 Utica Avenue. Bishop Leslie Josiah Barnes and Mother Etta Barnes and the saints there, we bring you greetings in the name of the Lord. Second Samuel chapter five. And I'm reading from verse number 22. Hear these record, recorded words. And the Philistines came. Are we standing all right? Let's stand for the reading of the word. Thank God. And the Philistines came up yet again. They came before spread themselves in the valley of Rephidim. When David inquired of the Lord, he said, Thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass behind them, and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And let it be when thou hearest the sound of a going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that, that then thou shalt bestir thyself for then shall the Lord go out before thee to smite the host of the Philistines and David did so as the Lord had commanded him and smote the Philistines from Geba unto thou come to Gaza same Gaza same Gaza uh -huh, Gaza Second Corinthians chapter 10, almost there. Somebody say praise the Lord. 
verse 3 through the verse number 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ so far. The word of the Lord and every glad heart say amen. As you take your seats, the grass withereth and the flower fadeth, but the word of God abideth forever. Somebody say amen. I, I, I want to, we're in the mode, uh, theme says fight on knowing you have already won. And uh, it is with that tonight that I, I want to share and I promise you I'm going to be quick. There's a work in this house tonight. And so I want to share with you. And the theme of the lesson on tonight comes from 2 Corinthians 10. It is demonstrated in 2 Samuel 5. But it comes from 2 Corinthians 10 verse number 4. I, I want to talk about the weapons of our warfare. The weapons of our war fear a weapon a weapon is that thing that is designed to, to, to inflict some kind of bodily harm a weapon one of, one of the concerns in this beautiful island of Jamaica is how the the crime wave has gone to another level. And if there's a people, fasten your seatbelts, if there's a people in, in Jamaica that can bring that down, it's the apostolic church. A weapon is something that is also designed or to be used to defend oneself a weapon when we talk about weapons then we are encouraged by Isaiah in the 54th chapter in verse 17 we recite it uh, no weapon that is formed hear me church didn't say that it wouldn't be formed but it says no weapon that is formed against us. Somebody say us. Uh, no weapon that is formed against us can do what? Can prosper. And, and then the tongue is a weapon. <laughs> and every tongue that rises up in judgment, it, it, it's already condemned uh, I, I, I come to to stir you up tonight because if we are going to be victorious we're going to have to again understand who we are whose we are and our purpose sometimes we've missed our purpose can I tell you your purpose it's not just to sing, shout, and, and testify. Your, your purpose is to go outside and sound the battle cry. Uh, we, 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 we've won, uh, we, we, we've won the battle because of the captain. But sometimes it feels like we're losing the war because no war is fight in a building. I'll tell you what goes on in a building. There is stratagem. There is strategizing. There is planning in a building. But the war is actually fought on the field. Uh, can I tell you as I'm feeling, as, as, as the Spirit leads me tonight, everybody in here 
get yourself armed because after tonight your neighbor is in a situation that needs to hear a man a weapon you don't hear me lord jesus <laughs> said arm yourself likewise because the fight is not in here the fight is in the field in fact paul told timothy i told the church in our convocation in florida that, that after tonight every one of you is an evangelist because the work of the evangelist paul told timothy he says do the work Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, do the work. Uh -huh. Yes, do the work. War is work. Well, you don't hear me. He says, do the work of an evangelist. So if you're waiting to be poured out on oil, you know, to be a greasy baby, no. If you got the Holy Ghost, you are already anointed. Can I tell you, there's a deception that's in the church to make folks think that those who are up here is more anointed than those who are down there. It's not true. By one spirit, are we all baptized? into one body can I preach for a minute the problem with the church is that we are out of order I mean we are out of order all of us have the same spirit but all of us is not in the same rank and file in the army one of the problems that's bothering especially the apostolic church might I might as well I say is that you have so many preachers who were not call to preach you have so many preachers now who were never ordained to preach and because preaching is the reaching of the gospel if you are out of line then uh, the, 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 the war can suffer preachers you got to open your ears and to know so many apostles now and the church tried them in the book of revelation we're not trying them the church tried them how did the church try them sound everybody say sound in other words when they got up to speak or the things they said it was the sound and when the church early church tried them who say they were apostles in other words they were saying we are a delegation that is sent by god when they tried them they found them them liars too many liars are in our pulpits and sometimes we we sit quiet and we hear the lie we know it's 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 not true come on we know it's not true in fact in fact the church is infested i'm brave listen to me i'm a david the church is infested with soothsayers acting like they're preachers and some of you have become stung by their suit saying but can i tell you amen the test is when they say thus said the lord and you can't see anything happening in the, the old testament hear me if a prophet got up and said he was coming in the name of the lord and it did not come to pass he would have been stoned to death I, I, I don't know I'm in trouble but uh, amen too much dead folks in the pulpit who don't have no life don't have the genuine spirit of God there's a, a pseudo kind of uh, you know uh, action going on in our pulpits and yet people are dying amen prematurely yet we're, we're, we're talking but we're not seen amen the word of faith is not being demonstrated there is no power codes in the church and if there's one thing I know thank you apostle Tracy the church didn't have all the sophistications back in the day preachers couldn't dot their I's and cross their T's but they had the Holy Ghost uh, what I need again in the church what we need to bring back in the church is the Holy Ghost somebody need to understand praise our God that when you're finished reading your text you can only depend on the spirit of God because if the spirit of God is not in it then we are in bondage but anywhere the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty 
see it's important it is important because uh, amen the signs of the Laodicean ages upon us uh, we got a lot of technology in fact the church uh, sometimes seems to be run by technology but the God is not looking for technology he's looking for men that is infused uh, amen with the efficacy of his power he's looking for men uh -huh, that is saturated by his anointing I don't know I'm scared to death because I told God years ago God I don't want to be popular but I need to be powerful and if I'm going to be powerful then I must have the Savior with me for I dare not walk alone I must feel his presence near me and his arms around me thrown there is a pseudo a falsehood uh -huh, that is on self self-centered self-centric going on you listen to some of these young preachers around town I I I I the devil is a liar there's no I up in here the great apostle Paul confirms that he says it's not I that lives but the Christ that live it uh, in me everybody now wants to talk about what they're doing quotes ego if you will and the truth of the matter is they're, they're not doing nothing they don't know the gospel they can't preach the gospel and uh, uh, Paul says how can they hear without a preacher and how can the preacher preach unless he be sent I don't understand you weren't consecrated amen and appointed and ordained in the midst ministry but you're an apostle in fact you're walking with a title higher than your pastor and your bishop the devil is a liar you got to check the sound you got to check the sound I know I'm in trouble but that's all right you've got to be sent you've got to be a delegation you've got to have a apostolic witness and I'm not talking about the new wave of people saying that they got apostolic authority because that's not Bible come on here I can tell you what you have to have Acts 1 verse 8 and he shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me Lord Jesus and the scripture the plan is so clear Jerusalem Judea Samaria and the uttermost parts of the world 1918 1919 the wind blowed down through St. Anne you know St. Anne is a place of discovery when they got here they got here at St. Anne's Bay and the Holy Ghost came here and the church got started in St. Anne and it was like fire you know fire like a wind and the wind blow it where it listed and you can't tell from whence it comes so is everyone that is born of the spirit Lord Jesus pray me through here amen you got a lot of people speaking with tongues but don't have no Holy Ghost uh, I'm in trouble now <laughs> folks are using tongues uh, to operate as if they're under or in God's stead but the devil is a liar when you speak with other tongues signs must follow you mm -hmm. I'm not talking about you saying what you did over yonder but when you come here you can't do the same thing the devil is a liar that's a storyteller we're not looking for storytellers we're looking for people that the sign is following when Jesus did what he did to authenticate his office as the Messiah he never testified about anything heal blind Bartimaeus told him don't tell nobody but if Jesus does anything for you honey you can't keep quiet you can't keep still old apostolic I wouldn't tell it to a living soul how he brought salvation and he made me whole but I find I couldn't hide the love that Jesus did impart makes me laugh and makes me glad set 
my sinful soul and fire I came through here to tell you and to share with you that the Lord says it's time to bestow yourself it's time amen to wake up out of your sleep it's not church as usual the sister said after convocation a few nights ago she said it's not business as usual it's going to be unusual business and I came uh, amen to star the troops every one of you and you and you who's got God's stuff inside of you you got the Holy Ghost and you're sure that you got the Holy Ghost hear me the enemy has cast some kind of spell on you what am I talking about uh, amen their weapons that are negative that is affecting the church too many folks are discouraged don't you know that's the holdest weapon that the enemy has if the enemy can get you to come to church but you are discouraged cast down not saying nothing not opening your mouth no sound in the atmosphere then the enemy would have lost won the battle then there is a spirit of worry why are you worried when you can pray oh god there's a spirit of fear that has grappled the people of God but the Lord told me to tell you like Paul told Timothy he says God hath not given you the spirit of fear but the power somebody shake yourself and say power of love and of a sound mind check your mind check what's coming out of your mouth because as a man think so is he and it is the mind come on here and I came to remind you that you have the mind of Christ what kind of mind you have you have the mind of Christ too many people in the church has been do to think that you're fighting an imaginary battle against the enemy can I say it right Paul told the church at Colossus he says Jesus when he went to Calvary you see you got to know the gospel he said he nailed principalities and powers to the cross and made an open show of them back up he says for in him dwell it all the fullness of the Godhead bodily in other words I hear theologians saying that Jesus had only a part of God the Bible didn't say that the Bible said that in Jesus dwell it all the fullness Amen. When you see him, he was not measured. He was the anointed one. That's why when he came back from the resurrection, the church called him Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, that's the sacred name that could not be called. That's the name that declares him as the timeless one. That's the name that speaks about him uh, as the I am in eternity his name is Jesus because you need a savior and just like how Joshua was a type of deliverer to take the children of Israel from bondage to promise so Jesus came come on apostolic preachers to save us from our sins when he was born I mean the very God of the very God who was wrapped up in human form the angel told Joseph don't call him any other name call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins I don't care what you study I don't care who you talk about make sure preacher that you know him make sure that you have had an experience with Jesus make sure that when you talk about him you're not a bar Jesus make sure that you're infused with his spirit because when you know who Jesus is then you know that there is no devil no demon no powers no principality that can come against the church the principality
principalities of this world under Satan has an assignment to the nations. But can I tell you who you are since you came out of sin? You're a royal priest. Thank you. You're a holy nation. You're a petula people. You were called out of darkness. Hear the sound to show forth the praises. I'm scared when a preacher gets up in an apostolic church and he doesn't call the name Jesus. I'm scared because it is at the name of Jesus that every knee should Oh Lord, I thank you. He was doing good. Can I tell you if you got his stuff, if you got the Holy Ghost after tonight, everywhere you go, you are a candidate of goodness. Oh God, I don't hear you. I said you are called to touch lives like Jesus did. Can I take you higher? You're not called to just sit on a bench when you come to worship you come to be instructed you come to get the word so that you can do like the woman at the well come see a man who told me all things is not this the messiah the christ the anointed one somebody give him praise uh -huh. uh, coach listen to me uh, signs uh, is going to follow the church uh, but if you're looking for a sign you're deceived uh, because you got the sign already uh, what's the sign of the church uh, the sign uh, is that on the day of Pentecost uh, a sound is going to come from heaven uh, and if there's one thing that we need to get back in the church hallelujah Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Is the sound of Pentecost. We got all kind of African mysticism as sounds in the church. Can't heal you, can't save you. Lord Jesus, we got all kind of syncretism in the church. We mix up with what we believe. But our fathers, can I tell you, when our fathers got this apostolic truth, they came out of everything that they were in until when the world saw them they borrowed uh, Matthew 17 and called us uh, Jesus only uh, because all that they spoke about uh, was Jesus uh, we sang about Jesus uh, tell me his name again and sing me the sweet refrain how sweet uh, the name of Jesus sound uh, in a believers here heal his sorrows and uh, soothe his sorrows and heal his wounds uh, and drives away uh, his fear. Uh, some of you have been fearful uh, for a few days, a few months now. Uh, I'm going to tell you about a weapon that God uh, has given to you. Uh, Psalms 37. Uh, fret not thyself, uh, God, uh, because of evildoers. Uh, neither be envious uh, of the workers uh, of iniquity. Uh, what you got to do now uh, in the midst of what's going on is to delight yourself in the Lord what you got to do is to exercise patience and wait on him good God from glory and when you get home tonight don't take any more sleeping tablets just talk to the Holy Ghost and then rest rest in the Lord wait patiently for him for they that wait upon the Lord 
Ask your neighbor, neighbor, who are you waiting on? Oh, you might be waiting on the tax man. You might be waiting on the government. But I tell you who I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on Jesus. And we used to sing back in the day, I'm waiting down here by the river till you come, Lord Jesus. Well, I'm not by no river. But I tell you, I have found out that when you get low, it is an indication that God wants to talk to you. And when he's finished talking to you, he told me to tell you that they then wait upon the Lord renew their strength. Mount up with wings as eagles and run and not be weary walk and not faint hear me Zachariah got the prophecy in a vision he didn't know it was the church but he saw it and the Lord tell him tell Zerubbabel it's not by might nor by power it's not by your ingenuity when you study Spurgeon it's not by power it's not you trying to work up a circus in the church and trying to demonstrate a pantomime it's not by power but it's by my spirit God I hear you and we need back the spirit in the church is there anybody who's ready to preach with me to look up to heaven and say Lord send the Holy Ghost in the Laodicean church he was outside knocking let me in is there anybody who's ready to let him back in the church I need the power of the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit send your anointing let it fall God I thank you there's a time when folks came up in here that the Holy Spirit was so rich they were trembling now the church is like a pantomime it's like an acting place but we need the Holy Ghost somebody who's concerned help me say Holy Ghost come back into your church I'm going to give it space I'm going to give it way I'm going to take myself out of the way and say Holy Ghost have your way somebody say yes I'm finished. Watch this. So, here is David. He's the Lord's anointed. Everybody, in the context of chieftain leadership, is not the Lord's anointed. Uh huh. And you got to know that when you're under leadership, you got to know how to wait. You see, we're in a lot of trouble because a lot of fellas, because somebody in their little amen corner told them, man, you sound good tonight. Ain't waiting anymore. On the Lord. I used to teach in Bible school, and a lot of my students used to say, Brother Brown, you got to come to our church. And I was under authority, and can I tell you, sometimes I didn't understand it, apart from my, my other role when I was the minister of music. But no amount of letter would allow Bishop Thompson to release me. No, you can't go. No, you can't go. And I humbled myself. Mm -hmm. Humbled myself. To the such that I went to Canada one year and a pastor said to me, um, what are you doing on Sunday? I think it was a Saturday night, Bishop Thompson's convention in Bethlehem. He said, what are you doing tomorrow? 
I said, I'll be here for church. He said, um, how about come preach with me? I said, me? What do you know about me and preaching? He says, you, don't worry. Your pastor has already acknowledged your gifting. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you? That alone was the catapult into ministry. The same man who was saying, wait. Can I tell you? Everybody in here who's got a ministry, and God has a ministry for all of you in here if you have the gift of the Holy Ghost. But can I tell you the word that you need to understand? Wait. Hear me. Hear me. Pastor has you doing some menial job. Wait. David was anointed, but he had to go back to the field because he had to be prepared enough to war with lions and bears. Amen. So that when it was time for him to become leadership, he was not fearful of Israel's arch enemy called the Philistines. So, you see what's going on right now as we speak there's a war in the Middle East between the Israeli and the Palestinians that war has always been going on from antiquity in the text I gotta go in the text David is made leader by all the elders of Israel all the elders recognize that he is God's anointed. Let me say it one more time. All the elders recognize. He didn't get up and run and acted like, well, you know, I'm the it. No, all the elders recognize that he was the Lord's anointed and when they recognized that and brought him to Zion it was proof because the sign was upon him he was anointed and so when the Jebusites would not give up Zion because Zion is the citadel of God. Zion is the place where God spoke in his words that he would put his name. Uh -huh. David took that sounds like somebody who's got authority and an anointing. The Bible said he took the stronghold of Zion. You got a lot of preachers running up and down here talking about strongholds and they're as weak as rats. When you take something, honey, hear me, you're like Joshua. When Joshua took the kings, put his foot in their necks, that's authority. You don't talk authority. You demonstrate authority. Come here, officer. As long, you can say where you are. As long as you're in your uniform, your uniform alone speaks to authority. If you're not in your uniform and you try to stop me, I might drive as fast as I can. But if you're in your uniform and I'm going 150 miles an hour, and you get up in that street and you go like that. I got to find all kind of breaks to stop because your uniform says authority. I come to dress you again apostolic because you have taken off your uniform so that you're not demonstrating the authority that is in you these signs shall follow them that believe if you're looking for a sign again you're deceived but as you walk as you talk you're a sign I was in the market in England talking and a lady turned back and she said something about your voice she said I gotta come back and hear you I was on the bus and the lady was murmuring and saying how she was troubled and I heard her and just began to speak in her ears behind her in the seat and she turned around and she said who are you you're not just somebody ordinary God is positioning the church because somebody 
daddy is expecting to hear from you tomorrow put on your armor put on your gear the fight is on there is an apostolic revival that's coming and can I tell you the revival won't begin up here the revival is going to be in the pews sons and daughters shall prophesy hold on I'm not talking prophet I said prophesy hear me those who are trying to read you up that's not prophesy in fact there is no witch in the church if you know the history of the witches in Israel they couldn't come where the economy of God's people were they knew they were an abomination they had to hide now we have released them saying they're in the church but the devil is a liar can I tell you who is in the church the saints is in the church the set apart and the blood wash is in the church do you know who you are I know some of them crept in in their underwears but God God had to push them out. They couldn't stay long enough because they didn't have the truth. But you got the truth and the truth shall set you free. I got to go. God bless you, Brownstown. David was anointed by God. And the sign of the anointing started to follow him. So much so that when the Philistines heard that he was king the Bible said they seek after him I come to tell you that nothing that comes after you can do you no harm because you're walking with the Lord's anointing and the Bible said they came after David but because David was the Lord's anointed the Philistines got defeated and in the text here the Bible said the Philistines because they're going to try again came to war with David but David being a man of God he had an army of men but he went to the Lord and he said Lord what must I do this time in the battle and the Lord told him change your strategy wait somebody help me say wait I know you got something that you want to do I know a business is in your spirit I know you want to travel and leave where you are but I hear the Holy Ghost saying wait for they that way good God from glory I got to go and so hear me the Lord told David wait number one he said take a different path in other words the enemy is in the valley go behind them and while you're waiting behind them wait for the sign or the sound in the mulberry trees that mulberry tree has a lot of substance in it I don't know if you ever drink the leaves but it can help your blood pressure oh God I thank you that's a free ad but the mulberry tree in scriptures really means life Life. and it was God now who was strategizing and if you can't hear God you're going to miss the victory he says don't do anything until you hear the sound in the tops of the mulberry tree I feel the apostle anointing no wonder when apostle says God almighty I top oh God you miss that anointing you know you're looking for some cute things in the church but when he says God almighty I top he is the highest order in the church he's the head of the church is the savior of the 
everybody for God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus yeah, every knee shall bow and the Bible says coach when David heard the sound the armies distorted themselves in other words the army came alive the army was quickened and I'm looking at God's army in a valley looking like you're dry but I come by to testify dry bones yeah the word of the Lord I hear the Lord saying to the church stir yourself shake yourself from the dust of apathy shake yourself from what people says about you shake yourself and begin to open your mouth for when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were in one place on one accord and suddenly there came a sound from heaven can I tell you the sound is in your mouth and the mouth is greater than the hand coach the next time you get up to preach there's a sound that's going to come out of your belly out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water and I came back to tell you that when the sound came God used the leaves to confuse the enemy is there anybody up in here that recognizes recognizes that there's a sound in you you're not dead shake yourself you're not the enemy you're not a victim you're a victor yeah Lord yeah Lord and it's time to war it's time to fight again is there anybody up in here with a war cry Paul told them that the weapons of your warfare are not carnal but they're mighty through God is there anybody up in here that's got the weapon called prayer is there anybody up in here who knows that the poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all this trouble is there anybody up in here that's get the, that's the weapon of praise grab your weapon we're on our way grab your weapon if you feel like crying cry if you feel like hollering holler if you feel like praise him but there's a sound in the mulberry tree and he shall be like a tree planted by the of water that bringeth forth its fruit you got the Holy Ghost but you stop bearing fruit but I come by to tell you that goodness is in you store yourself meekness is in you store yourself it's time to war somebody said war war stand to your feet stand to your feet the weapons of our warfare is not carnal hold on bishop some people are trying to conjure up carnality in the name of war in the church you're not the enemy I'm sure enough not the enemy and maybe just to fix it 
Because you see, the devil has been twisting the scriptures, especially on the bride. You see, what Paul saw in Ephesus was the brethren warring. He said, whence comes wars and fighting among you? And then he uses the word loss. Loss always has to do with fleshly things. Why she's the lead singer and not me. It's loss. Every year, why I ain't preaching and not me. Loss. Tell your neighbor one more time. Whatever the ministry is that God has for you, Paul says to tell you through Romans chapter 12, wait. Paul says, finally my brethren, where your strength lies, be strong in the Lord and in the power. You, you don't even understand what Paul is saying there. Paul is saying that you have so much power that you don't have to fight with each other. Let me show you how much power you have. Strong. Strength. The Lord. Oh, you didn't see power there? That's why the church has become so weak because we've stopped talking about the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Watch this. And in the power of His might. That's a lot of, that's a lot of power right there. Now, this is where the enemy twisted the argument. Paul compared. He wasn't saying. He was comparing. Because what he saw, he says, the spirit that's operating is like the spirit now that operates in the enemy's camp. And so he says, for we wrestle not against. What he was trying to show you, come here, coach, you look like a wrestler. He was saying that just like how the wrestlers, Sumai wrestlers, struggle. Mm -hmm. He says, you're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Hold on. But if you operate in that spirit, you're really being governed by principalities and powers. You're operating like the rulers of darkness. You see what the rulers of darkness are doing in this present world? If I didn't say anything else to the church tonight, let me tell you. Satan has no power over the body of Christ. Hear me, hear me. I, I know it's a misconception, but let me fix it. Some of you have been duped. If Satan has power over the body of Christ, he has power over the head. Yes. And Christ is the head of the... Christ is the head... I'm trying to understand it. And if Christ is the head of the church and everything flows from the head, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in you. The anointing flows from the head. Lord have mercy. Tell somebody, I need the head's anointing. So watch this. God has given you a weapon through the Holy Ghost that is able now to tear down that's the power you have to walk in your job and open your mouth in the ear and humble your supervisor Lord have mercy because your very enemy it's got to be at peace with you. Uh -huh. That's what you have, you know. Peace. Not war. Peace. I'm in trouble. Hear me. When Jesus left here 
for, to bigger the church he said one thing I leave with you peace he never left war he fought the battle God from heaven I mean, we need to get back to the church and preach the church so you have peace that's why when you greet the church it says peace be unto you Lord that's authority and grace from God our father who is the Lord Jesus Christ you have the ability hear me to tear down every thought that's any kind of consideration or anything that comes against the knowledge of God in other words listen to your pastor because if you won't get the knowledge of God you're not going to get it on social media You don't see what God is doing? Social media, some of the preachers, you buy them books, millions of dollars worth of their books. You don't see what God is doing? God is shaking up the place. God is exposing some people. Oh, you thought, you thought they were high and mighty. God is exposing some people. I want to say it because it's true. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your leaders. Pray that they stay humble under the mighty hand yes, of God but you got a weapon that when you hear it and it's not sounding right cast it down cast it down Paul had some converts in Galatians and he said well you're so foolish that's what he was saying if we say that now you're offended but the truth of the matter is if you step out of the apostolic church like I see some folks in doing foolishness he went further and that's what is destroying the church he said who hath bewitched you I gotta go casting down every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God you have the ability. Look at your neighbor and say, you have the ability. And to bring into captivity everything that is not of God. Lift your hands in this house. Stand everywhere and finish. There's a war cry. You got a weapon. You don't have to cry for the next five minutes you don't have to ball for the next five minutes you don't have to holler for the next five minutes but if you're in touch with what God is doing in this house you did the rehearsal in the earliest now it's the real thing lift your hands over your head get your weapon in your mouth start to call on the name of the Lord bring down every imagination you know what's coming to your mind you know what's been bombarding your mind bring it down by the Spirit of the Lord spirit of the Lord take back residence in your building take back residence in your vessel take back residence in your people we cast down every other thing that is not of God and we raise our banners we raise our anthem because the fight is on what fight? Fight. The good fight of faith. Apostolic church is under threat. But you know what you got. When you repented of your sins, got baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. You know what you got. You got a trumpet in you. Sound the alarm. Ekoshama. Spoke to some of you last night. You're not in your place. Come back in your place. You're a candlestick. Make sure you put back yourself where you ought to be. God is 
organizing and putting his church back together he's knocking let me in is there anybody in here who wants to let him in lift your hands again one more time don't go weary don't go weary those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength there's an anointing that's going to move through this building it's in your belly but you got to open your mouth for out of your belly shall flow rivers you got arrows in your mouth to destroy any works of the devil you got arrows in your mouth you got the Holy Ghost to fight your battle you got a name that is victory all by itself I don't hear nobody can somebody just shout Jesus oh come on you don't need any more instructions shout Jesus for in the name of Jesus uh -huh. I said in the name of Jesus uh, you got the victory uh, when you got the Holy Ghost you were calling on the name of Jesus uh, somebody said Jesus uh, stir yourself uh, arise and shine Zion for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen uh, come on Montego Bay you got that war cry say glory uh, oh glory uh, I don't hear what you say shout glory because when you shout glory he's riding on his chariot he's coming in the darkness you can't see him but you hear him for faith cometh by hearing and when you hear him you know he's coming to fight your battle shout glory I want to take my seat but I feel something up in here Lord Jesus somebody pray for me because some of you are not stirring yourself come on like the eagle stir up your nest stir up your nest you've been waiting for a long time but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength open your mouth and soar in the winds come on move Mary trees it's in the trees that the Holy Ghost has a sound and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water is there anybody in here that's ready to bear fruit come on here your weapon is in your mouth it's not carnal but it's mighty through God is there a Esther in here I'm going fast and pray for if I perish I perish but after all of that here comes feasting because the enemy was destroyed is there anybody up in here who knows how to get rid of a man is there anybody up in here who knows how go higher tell your neighbor go higher Bishop, God bless you. Start yourself. Start yourself. Start yourself. Lord Jesus, come on. Start yourself. Come on. Start yourself till you feel something. Start yourself. Come on, Holy Ghost people. Shake that thing off you. Get rid of the garment of heaviness. Put on a garment of praise and begin to praise the Lord. It's not business as usual. It's unusual business. Come on. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. I gotta go. Can I can I just tell you this and sit down? Who's coming? Another misconception in the church, especially where the power is. We're not coming to the altar anymore. We're afraid. But when you can't feel the power, don't look at nobody. Come hold on to the horn. That's power. Masha, Makuta, Sanda, Haya, 
Mama, mama, see you, Keto, Shaya. You can't do it without the power. You can't do it without the power, you know. There's about 10 of you who needs to come hold on to the horn. I don't hear nobody. Uh -huh. I'm not trying to get you, but there's about 10 of you that's scared. That there's about 10 of you. You're afraid. God has not given you the spirit of fear. He's ready to work you in the church, but you're afraid. Come on, hold on to the horn. Doesn't matter who you are. Preachers, whoever you are, get, get, get some power on the altar on the altar on the altar where's coach come here coach i want to pray for this brother he, he's in my spirit all night just lift your hands my brother just lift your hands just lift your hands lift your hands the anointing is in your belly don't be afraid. It's in your belly. It's in your belly. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. That's right. That's right. Out of your belly. Yes, yes, yes. There's a sound. 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 I'm a sound. Yes, 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 yes. Just cry. Just cry. Make a sound. Make, make, make a sound. Make, make a sound. Make, make a sound. Make a sound. Make a sound. The mulberry trees. Make a sound. Make, make a sound. That anointing is in the trees. In the trees. Make a sound. You know, you don't have to do anything else. Just, just make a sound out of your belly. There's a sound. There's a sound just make a sound yando shatoma shikata there's a sound there's there's a sound there's a there's a sound there's a sound somebody hear me say there's a sound it's the sound of Pentecost all over the world Mama, 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 Shaya, Akata, mama, Shanda. Some of you need to renew, renew your spirit. Come on here, come on here. You need a fresh anointing. Tell the Lord, anointing, fall on me. Anointing, set me free. I've been bound. The power, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fall. Holy, Holy Ghost power, right anyhow, right anyhow, right anyhow. Holy Ghost power, Amen.
Praise the Lord, everybody. We have some folks online who have pray, asked to pray, us to pray. I call their names Abigail Livermore, Anne Marie Brown, Carlene Carr, and children, Cynthia Baker, Dolores Cam Codner, and family, God Love, Ian Leonard, Jacqueline Green, Marva Williams, Michelle Green. Praying for Pastor Clara Thompson, Renee's grandmother, Velma Walker and family, Waveney Walker. These persons are online and they just uh, request prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm going to ask you just to bow your heads. I'm going to ask this minister just to pray for all those persons online right now. Hallelujah. For the weapons of our warfare are not corner but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds almighty God eco shatter mm. the God that answers by fire Lord God, the question was asked, is there anything too hard for God? Ooh. The impossibility specialist. Amen. Ah. Lord, you have declared that all power is given unto you. Both in heaven Amen. and in earth. Who can give you counsel? Oh. Aye. There is no searching of your understanding. For your ways are past finding out. Who can fathom the mind of God? Ah, Lord God, you are the bomb in Gilead. You are the sympathizer. You are the healing Jesus. Amen. God, you spoke the word and it came to pass. From you say God that settles it. Amen. God Almighty, there is no distance in prayer. You have declared in your words, God, that your ears are not too heavy, that you can't hear, neither your hands too short, that you can't reach. Amen. Uh, you, God, have declared in your word that before we pray, you have already answered, God Almighty, Amen. Jesus. God, right now, God, for those brethren those saints who have requested prayer online god wherever they are sitting or standing now god in their living rooms dining rooms in their bedrooms lord send the holy ghost fire to minister to them now lord god almighty dispatch angels lord god for his war fear whatever it is that they're going through tonight whatever it is that they've requested prayer for god let the fire of god begin to burn burn holy ghost burn holy ghost Burn, Holy Ghost. Arise on healing wings. 
son of righteousness and perform a healing no God Holy Ghost the blood of Jesus somebody show the blood somebody show the blood the blood of Jesus we send blood in the east we send blood in the west we send blood in the north we send blood in the south heal them now Lord we pray for God if you can't do it it cannot be done move by your spirit Lord magnify yourself and show yourself strong God Almighty God Almighty give a testimony to your people that they will come oh God Almighty to deliver that testimony of your miracle working power because there is power in your blood God Almighty we call it done now and I seal and deck this prayer with the rich red undiluted uncontaminated blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the blood that has never lost its power we call it done now in Jesus mighty precious name Amen